LeBron will be the greatest statistical guy to ever play the game of basketball. And there's no comparison to him. None. So, does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating because I don't believe that there's a great player because our game is a team game and one player can't do it. Like, I seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. He's a horrible player. He was horrible to play with. He was all one-on-one. He's shooting bad shots. And all of a sudden, we become a team and we start winning. Everybody forgot who he was. All right, man. I think it's time that I address this. So we all saw that opening clip, Scottie Pippen saying that LeBron's the best statistical basketball player of all time. Michael Jordan's a horrible player without Scottie Pippen and that Michael Jordan needed Scottie Pippen to basically win games and become a good player, which, you know, if I'm Scottie Pippen, I would think that too, you know, just, just because Michael Jordan didn't win a ring until Scottie came and, you know, it wasn't just Scottie, also Dennis Rodman, all these people. And to win a championship in any era, you need you, you need probably a top a 10 player, top 5, 10, top 10 player in the league on top of a great role players, great great team around you. And that's what Michael Jordan had. You know, he wasn't able to win any championships his first couple of years in the playoffs because he just didn't have anybody around him to help. It was just him. Teams would double him. But when you throw a player like Scottie Pippen in there who can shoot, who can do anything, um, it's kind of hard to double him and, you know, Steve Kerr as well. All these things. So if I'm Scottie Pippen, I 100% think that. But you're wrong. 100% wrong. You know, right here, I actually have uh, Michael Jordan's uh, stats from his his uh, rookie year, all of his, uh, all of his career. This is the regular season right now. So let's just, let, 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 let's look at it. So Scotty says that with, without Michael, without him, Michael's a horrible player. First year, Michael in the league, 28 and a half points, six assists and six and a half rebounds. Pretty good for rookie year. I think he won rookie of the year that year two over Ewing, I think. Right. Um, and then 22 and 22.7 points the year after that. The, and then the year that Scottie Pippen came into the league and got drafted by the Bulls, Michael Jordan went up to 37 points a game. Michael Jordan climbed 15 points per game when Scottie Pippen got drafted that year. 37.1. Now, 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 now Devil's Advocate would say, but Scottie could have been also contributing. You know, Scottie could have been assisting, could have been doing all these things, which he was. Don't get me wrong. But let's go over here and look at Scottie Pippen's points per game. His rookie, oh wait, seven point nine points a game. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight is his first year. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Michael Jordan averaged still thirty-five, thirty-five, and a career high in steals too, three point two. Okay, fine. Scotty averaged seven point nine, seven point nine points. But he might he he had to get assists though, two point one assists. And four rebounds. One steal and a block a game. Okay. <laughs> I, that's, I was not expecting all that, to be honest. I don't, I, I don't know he only averaged seven points a game. Okay. Whatever, right? Um, they keep growing together. Um, and then, you know, he ended up having a point where in 91-92 year, he, he averaged 21. Um, the year 93-94, that he averaged 22. So he had a decent he had a decent little, you know, career. He, he, he progressed. But... The years where he was at his best, where Scottie Pippen was at his best, which was 91, 92, Michael Jordan averaged 30. 93, 94, he obviously didn't play. It's probably why Pippen averaged 22. His offense was going through him. 94, 95, when Scottie averaged 22. No, sorry. He averaged 21.4. Michael averaged 26.9, coming back from playing 18 months of baseball. Um, So when, when Pippen got drafted, Mike averaged. He played all 82 games, which is crazy. He also averaged 37 points. That's crazy. That's wild. For someone who wants to talk so much, sorry, 35 points a game. For someone that wants to talk so much shit about uh, LeBron being better, Michael Jordan being a horrible, horrible player, it's kind of ironic that when you joined the league, Mike averaged the second highest career points. He averaged 35 that season, 37 the year before. He also averaged a career high in steals that game with 3.2, six assists, and six rebounds, which is insane shooting great from the field and everything else. Scotty Pippen that year, 7.9 points, four assist, sorry, four rebounds, two assists, 46 from the field, which isn't terrible, um, but 50 
58% from the free throw line. 58% from the free throw line. Now, when Michael Jordan went out, obviously he's going to have more points. That's why in the 93-94 year, he averaged 22. And honestly, Mike came back halfway through the 94-95 season. He only played 17 regular season games. And in the playoffs, he averaged, he played 10 because that's how many games that they, they played. And then they ended up losing that year too, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, and even that year coming back, he averaged 31 in the playoffs. And then the two years before Mike got drafted, I'm sorry, before Pip got drafted, Michael Jordan averaged 43.7 points in the playoffs in the 85-86 season. 43.7 points, 2.3 two steals, 1.3 blocks, 5 turnovers, which is kind of wild. 5 turnovers because he had no help. 6 rebounds and 6 assists. Now, if you ask me, that's a horrible player. That's a terrible player. Because let's see what Scottie Pippen also did in the playoffs. So, okay, we understand that, yes, the playoffs, you got to turn up a little bit. He averaged 10 his rookie year in the playoffs. Decent. Then climbed to 13 then the next year, 19. Um, but honestly, it's it's kind of like he just he just averaged what he normally averages in the playoffs in the regular season. Like, he averaged 7.9 his regular season year. In the playoffs, he averaged 10. Second year in the regular season, he averaged 14.4. He actually went down uh, the 80, 89 playoffs, 13.1. Not, uh, 89 90 season, he averaged 16 and a half in the regular season up to 19.3. And then the next year, he averaged 17 point in the regular season and then also got 21.6. So it's kind of like he's staying on average. He's going up a, a point or so a game. But, you know, if you want to be a great player, you, you have to be like fucking top. You have to go up 10 points, right? My, Michael Jordan, when he averaged 43.7 points in the playoffs, 85 86, he averaged 22.7 in the regular season playing. Playing 18 games that year, he broke his foot. He came back later in the year. He only played three games in the playoffs. So he averaged 43 in those three games. He he went up 21 points in those three games. That's just crazy to me, bro. The the, the generational hating is wild. I honestly have no idea why Scottie Pippen has been doing this. Probably because he's just jealous. He has a he had a book come out last year. I I understand. He had a book come out. He needs to sell it. His kids at USC with with, with, with Bronny James. So he's gonna have to you know hype up his son and Brownie James together. That's probably why he's hating on Jordan. But at the end of the day, like, Michael Jordan put you in a backpack for all of your championships runs. Like, literally, Michael Jordan had a crazy playoffs. The Bulls' first championship was in 91. Michael Jordan averaged 31 that season, or that, that playoff, that playoff. And Michael and Pippen averaged 21. The next year, Mike averaged 36. Sorry, 34 Pitt in the playoffs. Pip averaged 20. So at the end of the day, you're, you're getting carried. Like, and I'm I, I'm not gonna say like Pippen was a bad player because he wasn't. Pippen was a great role player. And honestly, without Michael Jordan and uh, without the, that Bulls, I don't think he wins any championships in his career. Like, even after he left the Bulls, Houston, he averaged 12 and a half. Portland in 2001, 11 and 11.3. Like his numbers significantly, significantly went down when he left that Bulls team when Jordan retired. And you know that's just how it, like that's just how it is. You got carried by, by Michael Jordan, bro. I don't know why you're so upset. You you won six championships. Would have had been more if Jerry Krause wasn't an idiot the whole time. But you won six championships, bro. Stop stop that stop the generational dick riding, bro. The generational Hayden. Like come on, man. I don't, I don't even know. Where, I don't even know where I was going with this. To be honest, guys, I'm just I'm just upset because you know I'm a diehard Bulls fan. I got the C red shirt on from the playoffs last year. And I just, I just love the Bulls. I love, you know, I just don't understand why he's hating so much on Jordan if they have beef. I think it's because Michael Jordan's kid is now with Larsa. So that's probably, it's probably why he's upset. You know, Jordan just literally takes everything in his life and have, and has turned it against him, his career, his wife, everything. I just think that he's just kind of tired of that family, maybe. But there's something wrong with Pip, with Pippen. So I hope he's all good, man. I hope he stops the generational hating, the generational dick riding, because it's just crazy to see all that, man. From, from someone you won six rings with and has such a great r- relationship with in, in the last dance that, that showed that, like, what what happened? I want a 40, I, I want a 30 for 30 on this. Honestly, make a 30 for 30 on Scottie Pippen's generational Hayden, bro, because I want to see why he's doing this. That would be a great doc- documentary, actually. Let me edit it, ESPN. I got you. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. I had no idea where I was going with this video. No script, nothing. I just wanted to freeball this. I just wanted to kind of come on here and talk why. He's such a generational hater and kind of just expose some of his stats and be like, bro, you sucked for the first couple of seasons of your career. You got carried. But yeah, guys, 
That's all I wanted to say today. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, there's no basketball today, which is Friday. Uh, hopefully Miami closes it out in six because I want to see Jimmy Buckets back in the finals. But we shall see. I'll have more content on the way. I'm actually going to upload. I'm going to make a uh, Portland video on what they should do with their pick and if they should trade Dame or not and what they should do with their future. I um, also have a video about Victor, uh, one by Yama, and all this stuff. So, yeah, guys, stay, stay tuned for all that. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. And, yeah, guys, have a good day and enjoy basketball.